the Curiton, the CuriSense ADW535. For over 60 years, the Curiton has focused on fire detection in areas where conventional fire detectors reach their physical limits. This is where the new Zekurisense ADW535 line type heat detector comes into its own. Fire detection in areas where everything else fails has always been Zekuriton's specialty. The operating principle is simple and reliable. Air-filled sensing tubes are laid in the room to be monitored. If the temperature increases, then the pressure also increases in the closed sensing tube. An electronic pressure sensor records this pressure, which is then monitored constantly in the processing electronics and compared with the alarm criteria. An alarm is triggered immediately as soon as this limit has been exceeded. A thin copper tube is normally used as the sensing tube. If required due to the ambient conditions, this can also be made from stainless steel or Teflon. The sensing tube can be used in virtually all operating environments, including in X areas. The fully automatic sensing tube monitoring detects any errors, regardless of how improbable they might be. If there is suspicion of a leak and at specific intervals, a monitoring device generates a defined overpressure in the sensing tube. If the measured pressure increase deviates from the saved nominal value, the computer reports a fault immediately. The response behavior can be set within a large range. The ADW535 is one of the quickest line type heat detectors worldwide and also complies with EN 5422. The intelligent DHW dynamic heat watch algorithm on the ADW535 ensures that rapid increases in temperature caused by the ambient conditions do not result in a false alarm. First, the pressure gradient is considered. If the rate of rise of the pressure exceeds the configured limit diff alarm threshold, the delay time is started. If this limit value remains exceeded during the defined time, the alarm verification algorithm is started. In a second step, the pressure is expected to increase by the alarm verification value. If this is the case, it is a fire and the alarm is triggered. If the alarm verification time expires without the expected pressure increase, then this is only a disturbance. This can be explained well using a loading platform as an example. The sensing tube is installed under the roof on the outside of the loading ramp. If a large door is opened in the winter, a rush of warm air hits the sensing tube and creates a rapid increase in pressure. Because the rush of air quickly disappears, the measured pressure decreases so that the alarm verification time expires without incident. No fire alarm is triggered. Want to record and evaluate monitoring data? No problem. Use the optional memory module to make comprehensive, long-term data recordings directly on an SD card and then evaluate the data later on a computer. The Zekurisense ADW535 also communicates automatically with superordinate systems. Various interface prints allow networking with fire alarm control panels or management systems. Two sensing tubes can be connected to the Zekurisense ADW535, which is known as double tube technology. This means that an area of up to 1,600 square meters can be monitored with one evaluation unit. Whether in underground garages, large kitchens, storage halls, production facilities, high temperature applications or tunnels, users can rely on the Zekurisense ADW535 line type heat detector. Fail-safe operation is thus guaranteed, even when the prevailing conditions are extremely poor. The detector can then be used without restriction in locations where conventional fire detectors would not be able to cope. 
The ADW Heat Calc software tool allows the planning of safety systems at a very early stage. The ADW Config software tool is a practical aid during programming and maintenance of the ADW 535. ADW 535, when durability pays off, as confirmed by test officers worldwide. From Zikuriton.